Hello, this is Mr. Erling. You're watching episode 13 of my Minecraft Mods Let's Play. Today I get my feet wet with some logistics pipes. Here we go. I'm going out with my new treetop that I made and I'm going to harvest as much rubber as I can see. This has been here for a while without being harvested, so there's probably quite a few. What is going on down there? Holy moly. That's a lot of uh, slimes. Anyways, I guess that's it for now. So I'll, oh, there's one. Yeah, that's why it's useful to break the leaves, but I'm not going to do that on camera. Because it's boring. Run! So, let me just show you. Um, put one of these. Or put all these in here. And then we have to have a new one. So I'm going to take this one over here. I'm trying to find blue. Sorry if this is taking too long. Blue. And... So that's for the tree sap. I'm just going to see if it gets extracted. There we go. Blue. Hooray! So, I think all the uh, coolant cells are done. Make uh, one more overclocker module. And I'm going to double this one up in the middle because. See, uh, when the items come down the pipe um, and they hit this intersection, this is the shortest route. This is one block away, so this one will always be filled first, so that's why I have two overclocker modules there. After installing the overclocker modules in my macerators, they seem to be drawing a ton more power, so um, I'm going to definitely have to upgrade my electric system here for industrial craft pretty soon, but just in the meantime, what I want to build, <laughs> I just like breaking stuff randomly, is a uh, blue electric furnace. So this takes five clay blocks. And I'll put the rest of that away in here. And then all you need is your five clay blocks. And, uh, ingot, um, so your blue alloy ingot and your iron ingot. And I'm going to put that guy there. Oh, I guess maybe they'll show it. Share power. Yeah. Any, like, blue electric items touching each other... They don't need to be wired separately. Yeah, the blue alloy, uh, blue electric furnace is uh, fully powered, ready to go. It's actually pretty quick. I can fix my pane of glass there. So, can't complain about that. I found my gold dust wasn't going to the right place, so I put one in here and put the rest in here. So far, everything else looks like it's doing all right. Look at all that gold. So, I'm making a bunch of glass. What could I be doing? And I have diamonds in my inventory. So, I want to start making some... Diamond transport pipes. I'm going to make about 16 to start with. It's only about 4 diamonds. 
And now, um, I'm going to upgrade these to, um, all right, I screwed this up here. How did I do that? There we go. Basic logistics pipes, which needs uh, glass and gold gears and a diamond transport pipe. It gives me eight basic logistics pipes, which I probably need a whole bunch of, so I'm going to craft a bunch of those right now. So I need lots of gold. But first of all, we got to make lots of... Uh, Lots of sticks. And so I'll make all these into s uh, into stone gears. I'm going to get rid of this stuff. And then grab uh, another stack of 64 cobble. Upgrade the whole works to the next level. I think in order to get gold gears, you have to get iron gears first, if I'm right. Let's see. Um, here's the iron gear. Yeah, so there's no gold gear. So then this one is a use to make a gold gear, right? Just want to make sure I'm not just blowing away my iron for no reason. And I need a whole bunch more iron. There's a whole stock of it right there. Um, okay, I'm not sure if I want to use all of these in gold pipes or gold gears, but I'm going to just make a couple... Well, three. <laughs> Is there any in here? Yeah. I just gotta make it four. And then I'm gonna have a nice a nice start to my logistics pipes system. I'm gonna keep these in here. Okay. Now um I think I need more redstone torches. I'll make a handful of these. So what else is required? Um, glass, redstone torches, gears, and great. So the pipes in the middle, the gears on the side, the torches on top and bottom, and the glass. 16. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, I kind of want to help out with my industrial craft power situation. I'm just going to throw in another uh, generator. Um make an iron furnace refined iron and a battery so this sucker I'm just gonna throw in right here and give it lots of give it lots of energy cool one, one thing I'm going to start making is these blank modules, which require paper, redstone, and a gold nugget. So grab a whole stack of paper. Um, they go along the sides like this. Oh yeah, I need gold nugget. That's annoying. Grab a few like this. 
I start throwing things on the ground again. I'm always full. Redstone. Put the paper in here. And I'm just going to make a bunch right away. You can hold that. What? I made sugar? I made myself a copper chest here. This particular chest is going to be the default route for the logistics system. Now, that may seem like a problem, but I'm going to get to it. i got to figure this out. Here we go. I'm going into unfamiliar water here. I have never dealt with logistics pipes before, but I did watch Dire Wolf do his thing, and uh, he made a logistics chassis mark two. Kapow! Yeah. So from there, um, I have kind of a feeling for what I'm going to do. The auto crafting side is going to be on this wall. Um, on this wall, will be other storage, probably might have like equivalent exchange like um, relay here I should get rid of this door because it's not in a good place um, from there like the piping will go up to the ceiling come through the against the walls up there and then come down I have a bunch of my storage along here and I think another bunch of storage along here probably should move the bed um, maybe into that room over there okay I'm going with my first extractor module on that uh, on this item cool okay cool I've made an item sync module and an ext extractor module on my default route chest um, I think first of all what I want to do is get some uh, chests in this other room for like where I do my main crafting. Should put a uh, hatch on this thing too. Let's uh, do that. Okay what I'm going to make now is what's called a passive supplier module. It's uh, made from the red. Um, and the next one we want to make is a polymorphic item sink, which is made from the orange. Um, I brought some of this to put in here, but I'm out of space again. Put some back in this place. So use your build craft wrench and you right click on it and supplier module and I think the item I really wanted was a provider module which is a gold gear not an iron gear. So this one is made like this. Uh, the lapis I put away. Rider module. I think this is the correct one I was looking for. I'm going to okay, figure uh, out my buildcraft piping system. I think uh, uh, along this wall, this particular one will go up here, up beside these batteries. And, and then just basically across the room here. Scaffolding is so cool. Alright. Um, don't need that. That was a mistake.
Okay, so this is going to come across here. Um, then down into this one. Cool, I guess. Um, I do want to set up a s several um, destinations here, but I think first of all I want to get some auto crafting going but I should make a f whoa should make a few more just like these like a few more polymorphic item sinks and provider modules and then have uh, a, a set of chests along here okay here I'm gonna make my uh, a crafting table with some gears around it which will make a uh, automatic crafting table and I kinda want a few of these but there we go okay what I need to make uh, is a basic logistics pipes with a pair of um, glowstone beside it makes a crafting logistics pipe so I'm just gonna make a couple more of these because that's what I'm gonna need I got my first automatic crafting table put down. Um, wonder if I should have started from the top down. Maybe that would have been a good idea. Let me just fix that. connected that's not what I want I'm gonna have to fix this one sec okay I made a couple more auto crafting tables uh, got two more crafting logistics pipes ready to go I put this one oops well that's okay right up there there's lots of stuff going by but that's okay got my axe of the stream so put that one there and that one there. Um, what I'm going to do with the top one, uh, this is the one that's going to create uh, wood into sticks, I think. Oh no. Yeah wooden to sticks import good okay got some wood um, I'm gonna do this recipe here I'm gonna grab my wrench import cool that one works for there um, I don't like making uh, gears. Gears are always annoying, so I'm gonna make uh, one of these with one of these. Oh, I wasn't supposed to make it. Actually, I do need an extra one. <laughs> oh, I'm hurting myself. Please stop it. Okay. Sticks. Oh, man. Okay, leave it there. Import. Thank goodness. That was painful. Okay, this uh, this auto crafting table. I'm gonna teach it how to make crafting tables. Um, need the wrench. Import crafting table. 
the uh, reason why I'm doing that is now um, also request it to make four gears isn't that lovely Now we're going to make a crafting table that knows how to make crafting tables. Auto crafting tables, I mean. Um, for that, I actually still have to make another auto crafting table. And then we gotta make another request. Oh, use the wrench. Um, oh, I think I just requested four crafting tables. Yes, I did. Oops. Oh well. So for this one, put these in here and well, I know I had a reason I had extra gears because I always I'm new to using these. Just put it that way. Okay, four gears. This is just going to be too much fun. Okay, put them in, but don't take them out. There you go. Now we got to make one more uh, of these guys. Another crafting logistics pipe. Uh, put that there. Use the wrench and import on our crafting table. Cool. So far, so good. Well, well I'd like to thank you for watching. This is uh, another end of this episode. I thought I ended up with doing some research. Ooh, thermic crystallizer. Give me that. I think that's the one that allows you to get your uh, some depleted crystals back. 53 chance per set. That should be able to succeed. I already got one pip. I'd like to thank you for watching again. Hope you're enjoying the series. Please leave comments of uh, any building that you would like to see in my series. And for now, let's just see what this is should be there in one second one more one more oh no it failed there we go thomic crystallizer yes that's the one I wanted now we can get some depleted crystals back cool all right, we'll end it here. Uh, come back next time. We're going to expand our logistics uh, system. Um, as you can see, there is more going on behind the scenes. Take care. See you next time.